We had the section for a number of years and when we finally plucked up the courage to, to go for it, we appointed Mason and Wales. And uh, basically right from the start, from the, from the first drawings, the house was exactly what we wanted. It was, it was basically drawn the way we wanted and we didn't give a particularly good brief. I mean, we, we, we weren't really sure. It's a, a big section and um, just the use of the materials, the workmanship, the use of the colours. There's really nothing we would change. We've been here now for coming up two years and there's, there's nothing we would change about the house. I'm just looking out there at the courtyard. We never imagined that courtyard was going to look as fantastic as it does. The uh, client had a relatively open brief. They wanted a holiday house that was able to be used by themselves when they're here alone, but also uh, for extended family uh, during Christmas times and holiday periods. So the client had a, um, an interest in sort of modern pavilion style architecture, and that sort of sets up a sort of horizontal plane with roof lines and intersecting planes and that sort of thing. So what we've done with this house is set it up into uh, separate levels, which again separate off the, the house into zones. Uh, so the living areas and dining spaces we've got uh, the extra height ceiling and as you're moving through to guest bedrooms and things the height drops down which create more intimate spaces. And from that we extended that out to uh, having a central courtyard scenario. The, the wind on the site is particularly uh, prevalent during the summer months so we based the whole design around uh, the central courtyard idea. Along with the, the cedar cladding to the outside we used uh, a lot of local schist on uh, uh, chimney breasts and things like that. I mean that's quite a typical Mason Wales sort of aspect but uh, we sort of toned it back on this house to use it in selected areas. It's worked quite effectively. And we've continued that uh, sort of amount of texture inside the house as well. So we've got the schist coming inside and we've got the, the timber oak boarding which performs a pretty amazing inside outside roof line effect. We've also used uh, pretty raw steel elements in the house, so it ends up being sort of a almost pretty masculine house, but a house that's rich and warm inside then, a place that you want to want to be inside for sure. A bespoke house like this takes a great effort to, to come to fruition and we're lucky to have a, uh, a client who is willing to take some risks. Uh, they put a lot of faith in Mason Wells to, to get it right, right from the start. We really just expected that we would have these outside areas but we didn't really have a, an idea what they'd look like. And the way they've come up it's just been, been a delight really to, to, to experience the building come together the way it has.